sure like ending these episodes in elevators. Okay, so I don't think that was a corpse. Elevators were natural transition points. You think it was a live demon? Yeah. That just like fell off? Was jumping off? Pew pew! So you see the filled in little notches around my cursor? Uh, yes. Those are how charged out my heat blast is. I can fire it when it's not fully charged, but it'll be less damage. I see. One of the available upgrades was increase the maximum amount you can charge it. So it, it just like scales linearly. It's good because you don't need to aim it at all. The enemy just needs to be vaguely close to you. Oh, my enemy was Hmm. <laughs> Someone in there is feeling feisty. Like that. Oh, that guy's a shield. Yeah, I hate it. It's not as useful from behind. I don't have any weapons that are super effective against the shield, so I need to, tend to need to either juke around them or figure some other way to deal with their shenanigans. Let's see. I'm missing one secret. One elite guard. Well, hopefully that's in this next area. Uh, why can't I go in this door? Oh, airlock. Do you think there's any plot? Uh, any part of this facility that hasn't been overrun by demons. No. <laughs> well, you seem pretty confident, but I guess you have played this game before. I think you... You were... I think you were looking at your phone and missed that glory kill. Was it good? Yeah, I just... I just smashed that guy's face in with his boot. With your boot? No, with his boot. Oh. <laughs> so There's a very important difference. <laughs> yeah, I guess that is a significant difference. We're bluey! I like that some of the demons are wearing clothes, sort of. Or at least armor. And because have guns. That's because they're possessed people. Even the big burly guys? Yeah. They're possessed security guards, and the other ones are possessed scientists. Oh, I see. You know, I don't think security guards are normally significantly physically different from scientists. But they're equipped differently. Yeah, but the little, the possessed scientists are like all gangly and wimpy, and the possessed security guards are big beefcakes. That is true. He's got- this guy isn't a beefcake. This- this one? Oh, this is like from their like- this is from uh, that old lady's special forces that she personally has. And they all have kill switches in them, so at some point she just like... made them all kill themselves. That seems rude. Yeah, I- I thought so too. Why but would perhaps, she do that? Uh, perhaps she thought they might not be cool with her like... Making, making with the demons. You know, it's sort of like that sometimes. Sometimes you have demons, and... I have to assume that it was not uh, common knowledge that the guy's guard suits had kill switches in them. I appear to have died from something. It looks like you died from being ripped apart by demons. That was unexpected. I didn't think I was at low health. But I mean... Don't we all die from being ripped apart by demons? Surely people wouldn't work here if it was common knowledge that their place of employ had, like, lethal mechanisms in their work outfits meant to kill them, you know? 
What, the, like, SWAT dudes? Yeah. I feel like... I mean, they're working in a place that harvests energy from hell. You expect some things not to be kind of sketchy? I mean, I don't know. That just doesn't seem what... I feel like, at that point, maybe... For me, at least, that would be the... <laughs> the point at which I'd be like... I think I'm gonna find gonna pass. a job, a slightly less well-paying job that doesn't explicitly come with, like, the risk that my employers will decide I need to be killed. Decide that I've outlived my usefulness? Yeah. I think if they explain that feature of the suit before I put it on, I would take a pass. Be like, yeah, that's okay. I can... <laughs> I can... I could do something else. Like, that's alright. I can do security work. At home, I could, like, join the army or something. That would probably be preferable to this. Right, I keep forgetting. When you find unlockables, you don't need to find them again, even if you die. It's, like, permanently added to that save file. Die, creatures! Like that. Uh, okay, sure. You definitely splatted him. With his own boot. Squishy. Squishy, squishy. Mm, Vega. But first... Secret? Secret! Ooh, gold guy. Shiny. It played a little jingle. Yeah, it does every time you find one. Oh, sorry, bronze guy. It's oh. a gift. Take it. It will give you strength. Help you on your journey. If you can withstand the power surge. This looks, uh... Safe. Yeah. Let's see how we're going to attach that to our... Okay. Yeah, just crush it in your beefy hand. Morning. Energy overload. Red power to subsystem. Health, armor, ammo. Well, which one are you going to get? Uh, I found that my current armor maxim ammo maximum is not good enough. And this, like, increases it by 50%, so this that is pretty substantial. It's pure Argent energy you've just taken into your system. Mm, it thanks, seems I hate you. With you. He's a robot. I will unlock the remaining Argent cells within the facility for you. Vega, give him what he wants. 61,337 UAC members deceased. Wow, there's a Even lot of people working here. The facility is on lockdown. Demonic presence through Noir's installation is critical. According to the records, Dr. Hayden, the invasion originated in the Lazarus facility. It seems that a hell wave was activated, transforming 64% of all UAC employees into the creatures you see roaming throughout the facility. The rest were killed by the demons released from their holding cells by Olivia Pierce. What a mad lady. I feel I should apologize for what's happened here. Some of my employees took things too far. Olivia was the cause of all this. And I believe you will have to deal with her in time. You may not agree with our research, but know this. We exploited hell and its resources because it was in mankind's best interest to do so. What you now see in this facility is the cost of progress. But none of that matters now. There is an emergency in the foundry. The regulators have been destroyed and the core temperatures are now destabilizing. Oh, great! They've overrun the adjacent facility. If the venting turbines aren't re-engaged, neither of us will survive the meltdown. So this guy's still alive? Yeah. Where's he hanging out? I... 
And we'll fight. We'll find him later. Probably in the main facility somewhere. He said 84% of the facility was on lockdown. Does that mean there's a 16% that isn't full of demons? Maybe. I don't really spend much time in that, though. That's not really... That's not really what Doom Guy's about. I mean, Doom Guy has pretty singular interests. Demons and the killing thereof. So who put Doom Guy in that sarcophagus? All will be answered in due time, Kate. Okay. Uh, but do you still think Olivia was trying, was referring to the demons when she was saying that? Well, I guess not. If she was a lady who just let them all out. For some reason, I assumed that the demons overrunning the facility was, the, you know, caused by, like, a horrible accident and not some crazy person deciding that the facility should be overrun by demons. Yeah. Who could have? I, I certainly wouldn't have expected that, because, like, who is, li who is that crazy? <laughs> yeah, who would, be th who would be that crazy? That person, apparently. Ooh, full scale and origin of the attack is re revealed. Cult leader. So with the satellite back online, the full scale Olivia Pierce, the Lazarus Project's head's lead scientist, yeah, nailed it, uh, activated a hell wave and released hundreds of demons from their holding cells in the Lazarus laboratories. The devastation that followed has left the facility on the brink of complete destruction. The foundry reactors are in critical meltdown. Samuel Hayden, a survivor and head of the Mars facility, has offered you his help if you need it. You don't. You just need ammo and a way to stop the meltdown before it tears the base apart. F you, Hayden. Yeah. F you. Alright. Let's do this next episode. Next episode. Gotta stop the reactor meltdown. Final one of this session.